To the IT now. Powering your home with the sun is not cheap. And to help bring down the costs for home solar, Congress approved a big 26% tax credit, money you get directly back on your taxes. But a hidden camera Fox 5 IT team investigation shows how some companies leave customers wrongfully thinking they qualify. Fox 5 IT team reporter Randy Travis returns now with more of his investigation. Randy? Yeah, Courtney, wrongly thinking they qualify, but then later finding out they're stuck paying the whole bill. And by then, you guessed it, it's too late to cancel. You feel you were taken advantage of? Yeah, yeah. Lied to. I hate a liar. Charles Schwab lives by himself in this cluttered corner of Harrelson County, happily puttering around on his various projects. The latest is solar. It's not one of his favorites. It feels like you got taken to the cleaners. He signed up with Solar Titan USA, spending more than $71,000 because he thought it would reduce his power bill by as much as 90%. Charles says that never happened, and neither has the other big promise. So you were counting on that tax credit to right. help make this affordable? Yeah, like paid off in seven years. Now it's like a 20 year ball and chain. The federal government has tried to make solar more affordable. These companies will promise that you can get back 26% of the sales price as a federal tax credit, and that's true. But there's an important fact that they did not make clear to some of their customers or us. That's Amy and Nathan Tatra's house in Lafayette. When they agreed to pay Power Home Solar more than $90,000, they say the salesman promised they'd get that full tax credit, more than $23,000 to lower the cost. They're wrong. My husband is a disabled veteran. We don't have tax liability. They know I was a disabled veteran. Did they ask you whether you no. had any taxable income? No, none whatsoever. Both did sign contracts that warn the tax credit is not guaranteed. Amy and Nathan's had it on page seven. The warning is on page eight of a 27 page packet that Charles got. They all insist it was never clearly explained. If they told you that you did not qualify for the 26%, would you have bought this? Absolutely not. That's all we're trying to do is get you to own your power. When we invited Power Home Solar to give us a price for solar on this house, the salesman blew past any tax credit warnings. Now, the only qualification you need is to pay federal taxes. Do you okay. pay federal income tax? Um, um, on disability. you still file taxes at the end of the year? Uh, yes. They take federal income tax out of you? Yes. Or, okay, so you qualify. That's all that matters. It's not all that matters. In order to keep a low monthly payment, companies like Power Home Solar require you turn over the entire tax credit to the finance company within the first 18 months. The system itself is 69999. Um, after your tax credit, it's going to be about 51. The tax credit's 18,200. But remember, you can only qualify for that full credit if you pay that much in federal taxes that year. Because they don't explain it in accurately. They're just telling you that it's a guarantee, something that you're going to get. Power Home Solar says it fired our salesman and because of other complaints across the country, is now putting new systems in place to monitor sales staff and make sure they're telling customers the truth. The company, now called Pink Energy, will also extend the cancellation period from three days to seven. And it agreed to remove the Tetro system for free, cancel their contract, and refund any payments they've already made. My tax, I said, that's only if you owe. That, that comes off your tax bill. Charles is still stuck with his $71,000 system. A spokesman for Solar Titan USA wrote, we are not tax experts and cannot make claims to who does and does not qualify. The company believes there are enough warnings in their contract and the one from the finance company to protect their customers, even if the sales pitch was far too sunny. Now, in a statement, Solar Titan USA said it's, quote, committed to taking care of our customers and getting all projects complete. And we encourage any of our customers who have concerns to reach out to us directly. So reach out to them directly and tell them you heard it here. Would it be a good idea to check with your utility company to find out if you can qualify for these credits before committing to thousands and thousands of dollars? Absolutely. In fact, all the people I've talked to so far who've had problems with these uh, solar power companies, they took the first bid. I mean, the salesperson came in, they were impressed, they, they smoothed them and they signed on the dotted line before they really took an opportunity to find out if what they were telling them was true. And so, yeah, 
don't take the first bid. Even if you like the salesperson, get multiple bids, and then you can compare them. As the guy said earlier in our story, uh, the in part one, that's when the truth serum comes out, right? right? And then check with your utility company to make sure that what you were just told is indeed the truth, because they can spare you some heartburn in this case. Okay, all of that makes sense, but it seems to me that a salesperson should take particular care not to take advantage of a disabled veteran. Absolutely, especially because both these, both these companies say they give you military discounts right. off the top. So yeah, they, they say that they love the military, but yeah, in both these cases, there were some disabled veterans who were taken advantage of. Yeah, it's not very nice to do that. Nope. Yeah, all right, Randy, thanks. Thanks, Randy. Well, the fall,